go with problem 38. As soon as I see this picture, I'm seeing a small triangle and a large triangle. They're talking about what's the width across the lake. Well, we don't really need this here. We can know. It's just trying to confuse you so that you're not sure what's going on. But notice, small triangle, big triangle. That tells me it's got to be similar figures. So I just got to set up a proportion between this guy's sides and that guy's sides. So to do that, it does tell us that PQ and ST are parallel. That tells us that this angle right here and the angle right up there have to be the same measurements because basically you have your Zmeister right here, okay, or alternate interior angles. This right here is going to match that angle down there. And then because of vertical angles, this one and this one match. Now, that helps me. In this problem, it would be very obvious who to set up. The 28 is going to go over this missing side, which we'll label X, and 30 over 105. But had they stuck a number up here, we would have gone, oh, does 30 go over this or does 30 go over that side there? So we've got to make sure we set things up correctly. So I have 28 corresponds to the X. Because notice, the 28 was between the 1 and 2 markings. The X is between the 1 and 2 markings. So 28 is to X as 30. Now I know the 30 is going to go over top of 105. That's its corresponding side because 30 is between the 2 and 3 markings and the 105 is between the 2 and 3 markings. Notice that if a number had been put up here, had they tried to try, trick me by putting 111 there, I know the 30 doesn't go over the 111 because the 111 would be between the 1 and 3 markings. The 30 is between the 2 and 3, so this has to be between the 2 and 3. That's just to help me make sure I set up the correct numbers over its corresponding side. So here we got a cross multiply. We're going to get 30x, <clears throat> 105 times 28. Uh, that's 2,940. We then divide by 30 on both sides, and we're going to then have the answer to that distance. Uh, 30 goes into there. If that were 3,000, that'd be 100. Go back to it. That's going to be 98. That missing, that width that was missing is going to be 98. Again, you need to make sure you notice as soon as you see a problem, if you see a small triangle and a big triangle, it's going to be similar figures most all the time.